Hello and welcome to the Geek on My Sleeve channel today. And we're going to be doing something a little bit different here. Um, through extensive research, trialing and error, and just trying to break things. Um, essentially, I have figured out a way to make the sounds that I hear through my computer play through my microphone for other people who I'm live streaming with or on a video conference with and there's not really a good explanation or video for it so I thought that's what uh, we would do today. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the PC view. A bow. Alrighty, so I guess first explanation, you are going to need two listening devices and one of them is going to have to be a 3.5 jack and the other one can be whatever. Um, if that's not something you have, it's not going to work. And I guess for sake, 3.5 jack, it is aka headphone jack. Um, but they will need to be listening devices such as a speaker and or a headset. So as long as you have two listening devices, one on a 3.5 jack and you're on Windows 10, you'll be able to do this. So essentially, you will go to your speaker icon on your taskbar, left click, open sound settings. And then if you don't see the sidebar where it says related settings, if your window's too small, you won't see it. So either drag it out so it's bigger or just put it full screen. And then we'll go to sound control panel. When that pops up, we want to find whatever device is plugged into our 3.5 jack. For me, it's the one set for real speaker and you can either left click it and set as default or if you go back to your speaker icon and you have it selected for me it's the one labeled real speaker and so that's the one for my listening device on my 3.5 jack next you're going to go over to the recording tab and you're going to find stereo mix now if it is not there it is probably disabled and you'll probably don't have show disabled devices active. So this is probably what it's going to look for, look like for you. Left click in a blank space, show disabled devices, and you'll find stereo mix. So then you'll left click again and you'll enable. And then left click again, go to properties on stereo mix. And essentially the main purpose for stereo mix is if you have a set of speakers and you have headphones, you could set it up to listen to both at the same time. Or if you have one speaker for a 3.5 and then you've got another speaker for USB, you could set them up to listen to both of them. That's not how we're going to use it today. Um, so essentially we'll go to listen to device. And I already had it set up, but you'll hit check mark for listen to device. And then you'll select your second listening device, which for me is going to be my headphones, which is the Razer. And then you'll hit apply. I already had it set up. And essentially what that does is instead of me having to go down here and switch between my speaker to my headset for what I'm listening to, anything that goes to my speaker also goes to my headset. So it's convenient for that. So if you have a physical dial on either of them, or I don't know if you guys can see that, you have a, a bow, little rocker wheel where you can adjust the sound. You can you know, either take them off or adjust it physically elsewhere, but it will come through both. Um, that's kind of a side note business. What we're here for is to show you that now that we have our desktop sounds that should be going to our listening device coming through what is considered a recording, which is primarily your microphones, we can use our microphone or our secondary listening device as our microphone. So to show you, I'm going to bring up Discord here. 
whoops. So essentially I just went to settings on my Discord and then it, this works for any application. If you're Skype, your Zoom, your Discord, your, you know, whatever video conferencing software you use. And then for me, I'll go to voice and video. And so it's on the M producer, which is the one you see in front of me here. And as you can see, the uh, bar moving up and down as I'm speaking. If I went and I switched it to oh, my stereo mix, which is what we just set up, anything that is going to my real speaker, you have to make sure you have your 3.5 jack device selected is going to come through here because you see me talking and it's not showing up. But I have a music piece I'm going to play. Now, you won't be able to hear it through the video, but you'll be able to see the bar move. Yeah, I guess I could have added it in for it, but essentially, so now, I can have whatever's being played on my desktop come through my speakers. I primarily use it for, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, and we do book reviews on the channel primarily, so if I find a good quote, I'll swap over. I'll be talking, I'll be like, hey, I got a quote. So I'll be on my main mic and you'll see it moving. And then I'll be like, hey, I got a quote. I'll switch to my other one. And then I'll just hit play and you'll hear the quote come through that way. While you have switched to the device, obviously your other mic isn't gonna work, but then you just swap back and you can talk to it again. So it, I thought it was a useful tool. Primarily it could be used by people using it like I am for if they have something like that going on, or I know there's a lot of remote learning going on. And so if you're a teacher who has a PowerPoint lecture with um, audio to it, or if you've got a video of some sort that you want to share the audio to your class, and it's kind of tricky to do because most of the time the class won't hear what you're hearing. Um, it is a little niche-esque, but uh, I had been struggling with how to get my audio that I'm hearing through my microphone for other people to hear. And this is the uh, best way that I found to make it work. It's fairly simplistic, has a lot of other value and use cases. If you uh, enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Um, Next in the line, I'm going to be showing you how to essentially do what I did here where you're going to have a display capture and you can set it up to be your camera. So instead of something like this where normally this is all that people are going to see while you're in your Zoom or your Skype, I'll go and I'll show you how to set up a screen capture like this and it shows it as your um, as your camera and it's just a unique thing that way you can show you know if you have uh, documentation on your computer that you want to show them if there's you know how to set up this or how to switch over your mic if you know there's a student who you can't hear their microphone anyway that uh, that'll be the next video coming out thank you and uh, stay safe